Okay. Our next speaker really doesn't take any, um, any introduction without you knowing him. Um, so I just want to say a, a couple of personal things. One, uh, his interfaith work is, is brilliant. Uh, he's been a member of the, uh, the World Parliament of, uh, of Faiths for uh, a number of years and, and he's probably a, attended more of them than, uh, well, certainly more, more of them than any pagan that I know. Uh, I was with him in, I represented the, the Pagan Federation along with Morgana for PFI in 2003, 2003, 2003. But Fred, and that was in Barcelona and that was because I live around the corner really in Malaga. But, uh, you know, it wasn't a case of, of you know. and, um, but, but Fred's interfaith work I think is, is something that, uh, you know, people don't know too much about. Uh, one thing I have to say about him is that uh, he, he, Doreen Valiente was a big fan of Fred's. Uh, and for Doreen to say good things, she said good things about a lot of people, but she didn't actually ever say that she was a fan of too many, and she did say she was a big fan of Fred, Fred Lamont's. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to say any more. Ladies and gentlemen, Fred Lamont. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, can you hear me? All right. I first met Doreen Valiente, whom we called by her witch name Ameth, over half a century ago in the autumn of 1956, when she was still the high priestess of Gerald Gardner's coven. Now, how's that for pulling rank, eh? <laughs> Following a visit I'd made to Gerald in June 56, asking to be initiated, I and an equally interested friend were invited to meet the whole coven before their full moon meetings, which took place in Gerald's Holland Park flat. These were no full-scale interviews, but we chatted with them on which and other topics until the time came for them to draw their circle, whereupon we would leave. Ameth was an impressive high priestess, treated with respect by all the nine odd coven members. She apologized for mis missing sound meetings owing to objections from her Spanish husband. Whether that was a real reason, I don't know. But from, apart from that, I was unaware, being a newcomer, of the tensions within the coven concerning Gerald's willingness to be interviewed by any newspaper, mostly the tabloid ones, which the older members feared could be detrimental to their careers if they were associated with witchcraft. At the fourth such meeting in January 57, Jack Bracelin informed me and my companion that we would be initiated to the February Eve Sabbath, which we were agreeable. Ameth was not present at that meeting, so I was initiated by the maid Dionis, while Gerald initiated my woman friend. What made the greatest impact on me was the recitation of the charge at the end of the ceremony, which made me feel I was coming home. Ameth officiated as high priestess at the next full moon meeting three weeks later, and that was the only time I circled with her.